Welcome to this highly requested shooting tutorial. We will create a shooting scene in this tutorial and you will be able to, for example, pull out guns, shoot with them and use a fluent animation of switching guns. So these guns are attached to the body, for example, here in uh, AK or rifle and here um, the pistol. And you will be able to walk and shoot enemies. So here is AI in the game. For example, here's an enemy. I can shoot the enemy and the enemy goes down. So here are the other ones. Um, and if you're not good enough, you die. So this is basically the scene. I will show you everything from scratch. We will begin with a complete empty scene and this is our final result. In the first episode, we will create this wicked character with this weapons, weapon bones so we can attach weapons to it. First up, we need a character. I went to Mixamo because you can download character there. You can choose one of these. I choose this Malcolm character. And after that, you could choose some animations, but I would like to download the pure character with the T-Pose. So then you can import it. Uh, I have imported the character and make it to one solid body because then it's easier to wig it. Um, in the first commit of the git repository you will find exactly the current state. So if you're having trouble by melting every mesh together, this could help you. Okay, if we go to edit preferences, there should be uh, under user preferences a point stating add-ons. We can search for Rigidify and just check mark. So check it and uh, see the check mark. And then you can go to add amateur human metaric. Normally you would only see the single bone if you do not have the add-on. Um, this will help us. Okay, this is massive. It, it looks scary because you already can see the face only by looking at the bones. But we will just scale it down. Go here, say um, display in front. Okay, and then we can see everything. And the good thing about it is is it is complete so it has so many bones no bone is missing and the good thing is we can just go into the edit mode and delete some of them that we do not need because the face bones are for facial expressions and you can see how detailed they are so just delete them yeah easy okay we do not need these breast bones because we are male and no high heel bones or i don't know what they are for so just these very rudimental bones um, go to the side view and what we do now is we will uh, set up the arm bones and position them correctly so we scale them and um, after we think we're good enough then we go to the other arm and do the same thing again oh it's a little bit big rotate yes Should be the same on both sides. Okay, here. Scale, rotate, grab. Okay. So there we go. Our amateur is done. Just select the body, select the metric, control P, and set the parent with automated weights so that you could go into the pose mode and everything should look fine. And yeah, now we have forward kinematics, which means we have to start with the parent bone, rotate it, then rotate the child, and so on. Okay, for the forward kinematics, kinematics, you need these bones here as a pole, ta as a target, this, these as a pole. And yeah, let's just set one up. It's not that important. Um, let's start here. Bone constraints can be set in post mode. Yes, there we go, inverse kinematics. So that pole target is this object. And, oh, I have to rename the bones. So for example, this bone is called uh, foot left target.
and I set this at the, as a bone target and the same. Um, oh, sorry, this is a foot left target. This is a target. And um, yeah, now everything is fucked up. And this is a pole. So foot L pole. And we go back and say, okay, foot L pole, and there we go. It looks a little bit strange because we have to set this chain length to two. And uh, the pole angle should be minus 90 degrees. And there we go. I think we're fine, some kind of fine. Um, these pole targets, I like to set them very far away. Yeah. This looks better. Okay, let's try it again in post mode. There we go. Now you see it's easier to rig. Oh, uh, this is what happens with Blender 2.8. In a few seconds, the program will crash, so I have to restart it. On Bracky site, uh, on devassets.com, you will find some weapon packs. These are made by Matthias Holman, and you can download them for free if you want to, or you can donate some money. And this is what we will use in our scene. As this is downloading, we will introduce some more bones to our rig. And one bone will be uh, exactly as all the other um, control bones directly under the spine. And therefore we go into edit mode and maybe, um, yeah, copy the spine one more time. And this bone is the ribbon bone. So. Or I call it weapon back because this is a weapon on the back. And this is a direct child of our backbone here. Maybe this backbone. Keep offset. Connect child. There we go. We can attach weapon to it. So this is called the slot in Unreal Engine. In Unity there is no way to uh, have a slot or something like that. But we will use a bone and we can attach the weapon to it. So, and then we will uh, copy this again. Uh, move it here. Let's have a look at the hierarchy. So weapon back and we call this weapon front. And there we go. We should uh, position it in a way that the character can easily reach the weapon because here we will attach the pistol. And here the gun will be attached. And so um, let's import our guns. Oh, one thing I forget to mention is you have to reparent it. So this one should be parented to this bone here. So select this bone, select this bone, control P, set parent, keep offset. Um, and when you go to the post mode, you will notice as soon as you move this, every bone will move. And if you move this bone, so the back bone will move. And this one will move as well. I guess also the same goes here. So um, the weapon will be attached here. So you will definitely notice um, that's way easier to have a separate weapon bone than uh, just try to attach it to an existing bone. Okay, after import, yeah, you should see them here. Um, you can choose a base color as an image image texture and then go to open AK textures just set the albedo um, now now this is a trick so we will duplicate them why because we will attach them in two different positions so let's take the uh, AK for example uh, we will position it here uh, directly on the back maybe in a way that 
our guy can grab it directly. Okay, perfect. And duplicate it. And then place it directly in the hand. And we do the same for the pistol. So the pistol goes again, like the other one, directly here. Rotate the pistol and position it in the exact same position as the AK. So there we go. Uh, Duplicate the pistol and the pistol goes directly to the other weapon bone here. Rotate it so that it looks right. We could start. Okay. Um, now let's go again to the edit mode and um, our weapon bones should look a little bit different. Maybe pointing a little bit more in in the direction of our weapon itself. So here we go. Rotate it. Yes. This is what it should look like. So, and now um, we have the AK here. We call this AK back. And this one is AK hand. And the pistol is a pistol. Oh, pistol uh, hand. And the other one is a pistol want. Okay, and now we um, attach it to the wick as every other bone. So P. Now with empty groups. Yes, let's start with empty groups. We will see if this is right because we do not want to have automatic rates. We want to really specify which bone is controlling this. So uh, do we have a group here? Oh my god, yes, we have a lot of groups. Okay. Vertex group. Okay. Um, there we go. So we go to the edit mode. And uh, this is what it looks like. So maybe we should reduce it because it's really high poly right now. But we attach this to the weapon bone. Uh, weapon back assign and there we go I think this should be it let's go back let's go here post mode yes as soon as we move this bone the weapon moves with it and so here if I move it yes it it looks right so let's repeat this um, for the pistol here so go back into the object mode, select the pistol, go to the edit mode, make sure everything is selected, otherwise press double A uh, and look for the weapon front and assign it. So now it's assigned and yeah, let's go back, select the amateur, go to pose, rotate this. Yeah, it works, looks quite right. Yeah, this works. If I move the leg, as ah, so the black is not movable because it's movable through inverse kinematics. Yes. Uh, maybe we should attach it to the to this one. So just say okay, control P, keep offset. Maybe this looks a little bit better. Yes, this is better. Okay, and this is how we just uh, specify two slots, and we do the same. Um, and attach these two to this bone here. You simply do the same. Um, just go to object mode, select this one. Um, first, maybe we check how the name is. So the name of this bone is... Okay, we need the name of the bone. The bone is hand.r. So let's go here um, and search for and dot r and say assign so the same with this one and dot r 
assign post mode and looks quite off. So <clears throat> now the object change. Let's put them back into their position. There we go. Um, we can turn off the names. And here we go. Um, that's all we need. So let's maybe um, turn this off and see how far we've come. So we have downloaded the model, we have rigged the model, we created um, everything we need for the animation. So I would say we make a stop here and continue in the next episode with the animation of the weapon switch, an idle pose, a warning pose and I think that's all we need. Subscribe to my channel to get more straight to the point tutorials. Thank you.